Hello my crafty friends, it's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations and the newest Simon Says Stamp card kit arrived today. So I thought I would share that with you. So we've got some candy, of course, a little lollipop that comes every month. You get a Simon Says Stamp microfiber cleaning cloth. Let's see, let's see how big it is. Oh, that's a good size. Their little paw print, black so it hides all the ink stains. That'll be good for my stash. You get some ribbon, which will go nicely with these Distress Spritz. I got peacock feathers, fossilized amber, and picked raspberry. These are new. I guess they are just shimmer, so I've never used them. These are the first ones I've had, so I will be curious to see how they work. Obviously, as you see, all of that mica is floated to the side because they've been shipped to me so you just need to shake that up really well before using it so those should be fun to play with here is the latest five dollar off coupon code now you get a sheet of little black foam squares these are thin ones and the little ones these really pretty beautiful buttercup uh, die set Let's open it up so we can see them. So you get your two stems and then your little buds. It's really cute and it all looks like it all stays together. So you just cut it all out at once. So you could do it on uh, white cardstock and just color it to what you want or run it through multiple multiple different colored card stocks if you wanted. There is an embossing folder, one of the 3D embossing folders, and this one is called Blossom Swag. So you get this really pretty floral um, impression. You could do that and just add a sentiment to the center. Call it a day. That would be a really quick and easy card to mass produce. And then the pattern paper, let's see. You get an idea sheet that gives you a few samples, um, but it also tells you at the bottom here what the items are that come in the kit. And these you get six double-sided, six by six sheets of Paper Rose Botanical Blooms pattern paper. So we'll just run through those. These are very bold and pretty. I love the colors. And then a little less on the back. I like that as well. These are really pretty. Yep, I like all of those. Try to get them out of the way. This is an A7 envelope, I believe, and it has the no need to lick them has a little sticky strip on it which is lovely here's the stamp set the reason i ordered the kit uh, this is called graceful flowers and you get this really big floral swag which i love the beautiful flowers stamp set it was actually one of the very first card kits i ever purchased from simon says stamp um so i really enjoyed that i actually liked it so much i ended up ordering it twice because i wasn't quite sure how the whole thing worked at the time that I ordered it. Um, I signed up for it, but also ordered the kit, so I ended up getting it twice. <laughs> um, fixed it, but anyway. Um, and then you have these great fonts. I love the fonts on these, um, your sentiments. Here's to a new chapter. The world needs more people like you. Sending love and hugs. Wishing you the best. Thinking of you. You, you are amazing. Love you. You got this. Then you get the little separate blooms with the um, stem, which, so you can create either one to work for you. You get a black pre-scored card base, which is nice. Very heavy duty paper. You also get an A7 card base pre-scored for you, which will go nicely with your envelope, of course. And then some I think this is sea glass. There's a purple. And then this is, I think, watercolor paper. Yep, so the sea glass, lavender, 
and watercolor cardstock. So that is the contents of the Graceful Flowers Simon Says Stamp Card Kit, which is for August 2024. I am unsure what I will make with this kit, um, but stay tuned and I will share with you what I come up with. So I decided to use this great embossing folder. Hopefully I put the paper in the correct way. We're about to find out. Yay! So it gives you that great detail. And then I am going to take that and put it in my Misty, which may or may not have Christmas material still on it from a project coming next week. Stay tuned for that. And so then I'm just going to take one of the sentiments, whichever one I can nestle that in there. Just use some Versifying Claire Nocturne ink. Oh, perfect. I'm going to stamp it just one more time. Just to be gentle with thin fonts like this, you don't want to smush too hard or you will you know, um, your words will get all wonky, so you don't want to do that. So then I am going to take that black card base that came in the kit and just adhere this down. So I locate my glue, of course. Well, it's even pretty on the other side. That's the thing about these pattern papers, deciding which one you're gonna let go. That's why I like them when they're like the enough for two A2 size, so you could technically get best, the best of both worlds and have one of each, but this one was six by six, so I had to decide. Of course, we're going down a little crooked because, you know, that's me. Why would I not? I'm going to try to not run my hands over that ink because that is still damp from stamping it twice. And there you have a quick and easy card. You could add some pearl embellishments or sequins on there if you wanted to give it a little pop. If you want to leave it real simple, I say you just go with that. You could also brush over this with like some shimmer on the, just the raised edge edges to give it a little um a little gloss and shine so i hope you like the kit um i believe it's still available you can head on over to simon says stamp my quick and easy project stay tuned uh, next week i will have a christmas in july project for you all as always i hope that you have a great day